Because the teachers are children. Because the teachers are children. And they're not only in nursery, they're in high school also. I, I don't understand it. Mashiach is taught so fantastically, it's taught like a fairy tale. That, that's not our Mashiach. It never was, never will be. What do I think? I, I, I think, it, it depends how little the children are, but I certainly think girls in school should learn about the idea of Shleim Mitzvah. Mitzvah. You ask the average boy and girl in Lubavitch, have you ever heard the word Shleim Mitzvah He doesn't know what you're talking about. That's the Rebbe's Mashiach. The Mashiach of the Rambam. Mashiach is going to come and will be able to do all 630 mitzvahs. That's Mashiach. They say, that's boring. <laughs> it isn't boring if you study it enough. But it's so cheapified, it's so dilute, it's so incorrectly presented, and I don't know why. I, I think the reason is because the people teaching it never learned it themselves. There's so much on Mashiach, and the Rebbe's Tate alone, and the Rebbe's Tate alone, just learn the Sikhs and try and understand. The Rebbe gave us a, a very, very realistic Mashiach, a logical Mashiach, a religious Mashiach, an avoidabase based Mashiach. Not a sit back and relax and retire Mashiach. And we just replaced it with, with childishness. I, I don't have a good explanation for you. It bothers me. When every time a kid gets up in yeshiva and he says one of these slogans, it's, teach Allah and Rambam. Explain an idea. What does Kamayim Yom Mechasa mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does the guards say from Kevin? What do these things mean? Every one of the things is an idea that's real and logical and toiro. And it makes Mashiach real. And we've replaced it with something very simplistic. So somebody told me, because everybody's dumb, and I just have a hard time accepting that. I, I, don't, I just don't accept that. I don't. I guess it starts. When we're teaching young ones, we're you're supposed to like um, teach it in an exciting manner. You think? What would happen if you talk to children about the idea of people being good instead of candies? People not lying, people not cheating. You do. That is that is the. I mean, like I don't understand. Mashiach is a fan. It is such a beautiful fan. It's not, but it's a fantasy that has everything to do with the most profane of the four letter words, by the way, you interrupted, which is work, W-O-R-K. You know, the, the four letter words are all dirty, right? The dirtiest of the four letter words, especially in America, is work. Mashiach is all about avoido. It's not about retirement. I'm going to be better and you're going to be better. You're going to have more koyach not to listen to Yetzirah. You can teach that to little kids. And it'll be more meaningful to them, and they'll appreciate that there's something that they need to do instead of over the wise wise and hearing the story like the stories in the books. Kids get about that? They'll get more excited about it. They'll be able to understand how they play a role in it. The way Mashiach is portrayed is we're waiting for him. Is that what the Rebbe said to do, to wait for Mashiach? I'm asking you. I'm screaming again. The Rebbe said, Kabbalah's name is Sheikh the Kenya Bapel Mamish. Right? There's a big fight amongst the Shluchim. What's the Shlichis? But certainly, Kabbalah's name is Sheikh the Kenya Bapel Mamish. Is not put your hands under your feet and sit and wait. However, you have to greet Mashiach and bring Mashiach and, and, and reveal Mashiach, it's a job. And it's a job that has to do with bringing light into the world, with making one more human being, one more Yid do one more mitzvah, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one.